Have you ever experienced trouble hearing or pain in your ear? It could be due to a condition known as earwax impaction. Earwax, or cerumen as it's medically termed, is a natural substance that helps protect the insides of our ears and prevents injury or infection. However, when it accumulates excessively, it can lead to a condition known as earwax impaction, causing symptoms like trouble hearing and sometimes even pain. This condition is more prevalent in young children and older adults. Now, you might be wondering what exactly triggers earwax impaction. Several factors contribute to this condition. Some people may have diseases that affect the ear, altering the shape of the ear's interior and making it difficult for wax to move out. Skin problems causing excessive shedding of skin cells can also result in wax buildup. Some individuals have narrower ear canals than others, and this can predispose them to earwax impaction. The ear canal can become narrower following an ear injury or after severe or multiple ear infections. As we age, our earwax tends to become harder and thicker, making it more difficult for it to move out of the ear as it normally should. Interestingly, our ear cleaning habits can also contribute to earwax impaction. Cleaning the ears using cotton swabs or other tools can inadvertently push the wax deeper into the ear, leading to impaction over time. Lastly, some people simply produce more earwax than others. This can happen when water gets trapped in the ear or when the ear is injured but some people naturally have a lot of earwax without any apparent reason. The symptoms of earwax impaction include trouble hearing, pain in the ear, a feeling of blockage or plugging in the ear, and hearing a ringing noise. These symptoms can occur in one or both ears. If you or your child experience any of these symptoms, it's essential to see a doctor or nurse. They can examine the ears to determine if the symptoms are caused by earwax impaction or another problem such as an ear infection. When it comes to cleaning the ears at home, it's advised against. The insides of the ears do not usually require cleaning, and sticking anything into the ears can push the wax in deeper, causing impaction. So, how does one treat earwax impaction? There are several treatments available to remove impacted earwax. These treatments are only offered to people who have bothersome symptoms. They include eardrops that soften earwax and help it to drain out, rinsing where a doctor or nurse squirts water or another liquid into the ear to rinse out the wax, and the use of special tools to safely remove the earwax. Remember, earwax is a natural part of our body's defense mechanism. It's only when it becomes excessive and starts causing discomfort that we need to intervene. Always consult a healthcare professional if you suspect earwax impaction and never attempt to remove the wax by yourself, as this could lead to further complications.